This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social. We're in Liverpool today, down at the Rotunda. With me, David Price. David, thank you very much for having us down today. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. Very well. Now, not long to go. Just over a week before you fight Dave Allen. Can you talk to me a bit about training? How's preparation been? I know in the past you went into the, the Kuzmin fight with a slight injury. Uh, can you talk to me about camp? All good? All good. Everything's going well. Uh, so good, so far, so good. Um, a long camp, but, you know... When, uh, a fruitful one really I think um, I've, I've trained well rested well at well slept well done everything done everything right early and that, that's, that's years of experience um, so everything's fine yeah I was about to ask you you mentioned the experience there um, of going through the camps you've been in several big fights over the years you've obviously changed things up from time to time as, as you've got older and you've gone through your career, what are the kind of changes you've been making, and especially for this fight? Have you been looking after your body and preparing for this? I've been eating a lot better. Um, sleep quality has been, been really good. Resting between sessions. It's about conserving the energy really more than anything. So each, each session I can give it 100% and, and do it without fear of picking up illness, injury, anything like that. So, so it's, 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 been, it's been mainly that really. Let's talk about the fight. Um, I think stylistically, what a lot of people are looking at is how much of a height, size, reach advantage you have over Dave Allen. Is that something you're looking to utilise going into the fight? Yeah, it, it, you always try and utilise that, but sometimes that that's easier said than done. You know, some people some people uh, assume because you're taller than someone that you, they shouldn't get near you, but that in a 12-round fight, someone is going to get close to you at, at some point. So it, it's... Um, it's utilising, you know, within reason, but then, you know, if he does get close, dealing with it then. So, we've worked on we've worked on a lot of things to to deal with Dave Allen. And I'm confident what we've worked on is gonna is gonna uh, prove to be successful on the night. I think it's fair to say if you'd follow the trajectory of your career and the career of Dave Allen side by side, um, for, for the best part, you'd have been a heavy favourite going into that fight. As it is, though, with this fight, July 20th, you're actually the better underdog going into this. Is that a surprise to you? Not really, no, because um, Dave Allen's coming off the back of two... two he beat uh, Lucas Brown, who did he beat before that? Was he had four wins, I think. He's had four wins, yeah, but, but Nick Webb was the other one who, who was unbeaten, obviously. Um, the other two were, were, were just keep busy fights, weren't they? But he's had two notable wins, um, which is... Which is you know, he's got momentum, he's got momentum. I've won my last two fights. The endings have been a bit frustrating for me. Um, they haven't been very, they haven't been as clinical as I would have liked or, or comprehensive, but they've got two wins. But he's, he's got momentum. Now, he's the favourite in that. I expected that, and that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, you know, Dave Allen's the A-side in this fight. I'm, I'm in as the opponent. He's the home fighter. The expectations on Dave Allen. So the beauty for me is that in this fight, not much is expected from me. From when well, they say not much, but people aren't expecting me to win as far as the betting's concerned, and that and that's, that shoots me down to the ground. I was about to ask you about that. Do, do you feel it's lifted a little bit of pressure, knowing that that the pressure is largely on Dave Allen to get this win? And he's talked about, you know, he said things like, "I'm only three wins away from from a big name, and I expect to beat David Price, etc." Does does that help your mentality going into this, knowing the pressure isn't on as such? Um, whatever Dave Allen's thinking or whatever he's saying it is is not in my control. So, if he's saying he's got three wins to do this, it, it, however that can affect him. That that's his problem, or that it, or it, or his, you know, his benefit really. So it, it might be benefiting him, might be his problem. But for me, I'm just concentrating on how I'm feeling, and I'm feeling the, the way I'd feel at this stage in my career for any fight, which is, which is calm, composed, relaxed, and and ready ready to get in and, and do a job. No, I think the last time we spoke to you, I think Rob spoke to you just after this fight was announced. It was just after David beating Lucas Brown. I think you were sort of waiting to see which of those guys you'd be fighting, dependent on the winner. Uh, you said to us at the time that you probably stylistically would have preferred Lucas Brown, but Dave Allen it is. The fight's signed. We're nearly there. What is it that you've been preparing for from Dave Allen and what is it stylistically you expect from him as well? Well, I think, um, I think he's rugged. You know, he's durable, but 
it's 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 more about preparing for what I'm going to do rather than what reacting to what Dave Allen's going to do. So um, we're preparing more about my my plan, my my actions that I'm going to take in the ring, and let him worry. You know, let him let him react to me rather than me being the one who's reacting to him. Um, so we, you know, know what to expect from. Him. But it's it's about getting in there on the night and staying calm and composed, which I expect to do. Do you think it's a bit short-sighted when people say that you need to stop Dave Allen to win this fight? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I, I do I do believe my best chance is to knock Dave Allen out, though, and, and, and I will be going out there to do so. So, I'm, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not listening to what people are saying and what, I'm, what, what are Dave Allen's talk and think and whatever. Just focusing on what I want to get in the ring and do, and that's, that's to get in and, and knock Dave Allen out, which I believe... I'm fully capable of. Let's touch briefly on the main event, uh, Dylan White versus Oscar Rivas. I think general consensus is that's a very good heavyweight fight. I appreciate you'll be a bit preoccupied when it comes to watching that fight, um, but just your thoughts on that fight. How do you expect that one to play out? It's a great fight. Um, another fight which Dylan White, if he wanted to, probably could have just put put to the side and not taken, but he, he's... He's done what he's been doing for the, for a while and taking serious challenges, which is which is very ad- admirable. Um, and I think he come out on top again in this one. I think he can box his way to a decision. Um, if I think if he can get a stoppage, it'd be a massive statement. But I think now it's about the result and getting the win for Dillian and then getting what he deserves, which is a shot at the title. Now going back to you. Um if you come through Dave Allen, what, what is it in your mind that you're working towards? What, at this stage in your career, do you want? Are you, have you thought about that at this point, or is it one fight at a time? It really is one fight at a time for me. I mean, I, 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 even if I sat and had to think about what could come next, there'd be that many different things that, that you could pull out because there's that many different heavyweights out there now. It'd be hard to, it'd be hard to pin it, you know? But so it really is, it's a cliche, but it is one fight at a time. But it's it's massively important that I do win this fight, so there is another fight after it of, of note. I don't want to be, you know, back down on the cards in eight rounds as again. It it it'd be um, it'd, we want to keep moving forward. You mentioned there you're after the big fights um, and that you don't want to be going back to eight rounders on undercards, etc. Uh, if you were to fall short against Dave Allen, do you think that would be it? Um. It's something to think about after it. I mean, but it's not something that's crossing my mind now. Because defeat isn't an option for me at the minute. And it's not. It's not in my mind. What will I do if I lose? That just isn't an option. It's. It's only about winning this fight. One thing I did want to ask you about, David. Uh, we know that Andy Ruiz will defend his uh, unified heavyweight championship against Anthony Joshua later in the year. Looks like it's going to be in the UK. Anthony's opted to to go straight back into that. I know obviously it's different circumstances. When you've had the the first loss of your career against Tony Thompson, you elected to do a similar thing and go straight back in. Do you think Joshua's made the right decision going straight back in there and trying to reclaim what is? Um, I understand why he's done it, because the fighter in him has has wanted to do it and the the ego in him has wanted to get, get in there and settle the score straight away. Like I did, um, but just you know, it didn't work for me. It doesn't mean it's not going to work for him. Um, you know, he's been he's a proven world champion. He, he's overcome adversity in the past, and you know, I think um, the right. I think his team wouldn't have suggested him doing it if if they didn't believe he could win. And I think he, I think he can win the rematch, but I still think it's a massive risk. But. It's a, it's a risk he's got to take, really. Where, does he, where else could he go from there? Where, what else, who else could he fight? And even then, that would be a risk. So at least he may as well risk-reward. That There's a risk, but the reward is winning all his belts back. So I think I think it's the right choice. All right, David, I appreciate you don't want to be here forever. And there's a lot of people behind me, so I'll leave the final word to you. What can we expect from yourself July 20th? Fireworks. All-out attack. All right, David Price, thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social.